next test uh, in the couch is called the Burgess test. The patient wants to be flat. Uh, and this is another test of potential chronic ischemia. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix the knee, hand under the ankle, so we've got a good um, control of the leg. I'm going to raise that up to about 90 degrees or where the patient's comfortable. Just check that the patient's comfortable with that. And we're going to time this for one minute. So we're going to hold this position we're, we're looking firmly at the foot and what we're looking to see if the foot goes white. So if the foot goes extremely white, if the blood draws away from the foot uh, at about 30 seconds to a minute, uh, that is a, a positive test. That's the first part of the Burgers test. Just make sure that it's comfortable for your patient. If it's a bit too uncomfortable, you might just relax the knee a little bit, but we do want to keep the leg straight so the blood can flow down. So that's the first test, part of the test. The next part, we're gonna ask Mark to come and sit around. And what we're looking to do to see is if the blood moves back into the foot, so in this case, the left foot, if the foot becomes extremely red, extremely purple, um, that is a positive test, okay? That is probably more important. Uh, than the first part of the test. So we're looking for a very white foot uh, with the first part and the second part we're looking to see if the foot goes extremely purple. So the, the, the blood flow, the, the body wants to keep a seal around the tissues. So uh, the body recognises that the blood's moved away and it kind of all overcompensates and pushes the blood to the foot. Uh, just to say a very white foot abnormal, 